Hello, friends, and welcome back to Too Many Minis. My name's Ozzy. I got one of these. Kill Team Salvation. Let's have a look inside it. This box is stuffed. They've moved to the smaller box format now for Kill Team. You don't get all the terrain in it. You just get one little sort of interesting bits of terrain sprue. So no more nice picture. You just get a Warhammer thingy. But I don't care about that. Oh, we got stuff at the bases we'll throw them away. Ooh. 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 Right. Let's do the decal sheets. This is the same space marine one we've seen recently. Raven Guard. Okay, they're encouraging you to go Raven Guard. And the Eldari Craft Worlds. And another Raven Guard. Interesting. Ah, this is a little piece of paper to tell you that they should be on 28mm bases, the Striking Scorpions, and ignore what it says in the construction guide. So, a classic editing mistake there. Oh, nice big data cards. Look at these. Big old data cards. Striking Scorpion Warrior, Striking Scorpion Exarch, Howling Banshee Warrior, Howling Banshee Exarch, Dire Avenger Warrior, Dire Avenger Exarch, 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 I don't know how you say them. I feel like I used to know. That's nice though, look. They got all of those in there. It's nice to see. And then you got Scout Warrior, Scout Tracker, Scout Hunter, Scout Sniper, Scout Heavy Gunner, and Scout Sergeant. Sweet. Some card packs, faction tech ops, token guide, abilities. Oh, these are fancy pants cards. Equipment cards. So they're really getting the, the deluxe treatment, these two kill teams. I wonder if we can expect this in general going forward as a way to sort of pad out the, the smaller boxes. It's the same for the Space Marine Scouts. Here are the tokens for the Eldar. That one's particularly cool. Nice, this is really board gamey. And the tokens for the Scouts. They're really nice. Look at that little Auspex one. These are cool. They're board gaming it up a bit, I'd say. Instruction guide. Here's the cool terrain. Here's the manual. It's not got any fold-outs. Oh, it has got a fold-out. I love a fold-out. Ooh, fold-out campaign map. Love that. That's a nice big picture. That looks good. Okay, here's the first of the Scorpion Sprues. These are super crisp. It's a little exposed face one. Another scorpion sprue. Another two. You get six sprues of scorpions. And then you get two sprues of scouts. So I guess that's one squad of five fits on one big full size sprue. There's all their heads. Oh, look, that Cyclops looking guy. And the shouty beardy man. The sniper looks great, doesn't it? A big shotgun. I think they can all be switched for shotguns if you want. There's a missile launcher and a heavy bolter for the heavy options. And look at their backpacks. Interesting. They got the very plain sort of Mark VI style pauldrons um, with no adornments. You get 10 of them. Might start building them. God, this is fiddly. Now I have a problem here because scouts normally have these little buzz cuts and um, my salamanders don't have hair. So I think I'm going to take this guy to be the sergeant, but I'm going to have to give him a haircut.
Oh, it's Sergeant. Cool. Sergeant. Okay, this one's getting a head swap. From the Strike Force Justian. Suitably salamandery looking head. It's a bit over spec for a scout head, but that's okay. Maybe we're like special forces scouts, you know, we're tough guys. Sergeant Heavy Bolter Tracker Hunter. Oh, he needs gluing. Missile launcher. Sniper. Two shotgun guys. I had to get this shotgun in with the shells on top. And I got to use this cool cyborg head. Two classic pistol and combat knife scouts. What with my baldy salamanders look. Um, I didn't do any bolt gun ones because boring and I think I've got the range covered by the uh, well one of these guys has a bolt gun anyway the tracker guy has a bolt gun and then the the heavy bolter is long range the missile is long range and the sniper is long range so it's cool I can be short range with the rest here they are 10 built I really like them compared to the old scout kits I think they're way nicer I haven't attached the little packs on their backs, the kind of bed rolls. I just, it's not working for me. Um, I want to paint them up in a Badab War Salamander scheme, you know, the yellow, the Rogue Trader style yellow with dark green or black, I think black lines on it, wiggly lines. It looks like this year's Arsenal Away kit, but good, which because the Arsenal Away kit looks terrible this year. So they're going to be like the world's least camouflaged uh, scouts. That's fine. Quite into them. This guy might be my favourite, I think. I really like... He's consulting his auspex and shouting a command. Oops. And I like this uh, this guy with his kind of handsome Marlon Brando face. So I'm going to try and get them painted up. That's not going to be in this video. It's going to be a next thing. But I'm into them. I like the box in general. I'm not sure I'm chuffed with the whole uh, splitting the terrain out from the box, but I like terrain. I like more terrain. Um, the Striking Scorpions are going to Simon. He's going to be painting them up and I guess maybe adding some other aspects. I'd quite like to do the Aspect Warrior team at some point, but I'm chill for now. And he's getting the terrain as well. So for me, this isn't one where I'm adding terrain. But I've got all of the Into the Dark Terrain and all the bits for that. Yeah, let me know if you pick this up, um, this box. It's sold out. I don't know why they're not printing more of the Kill Team boxes. I would really like to see it as an actual product you can buy rather than just something on pre-order that's then gone. You can get it if you want to buy it at 10 a.m. on the day it's it's on pre-order. That's basically the, the deal with Kill Teams at the moment. And the individual Kill Teams will be available in the future as regular stock. That's not a problem. So all in all, yeah, I like the box. I like all the extra cards and stuff. It's solid. What do you make of it? Let me know in the comments. Join me on Discord. Chat stuff. Also streaming Thursday nights right here on YouTube. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>